In this video, we're breaking down the five best dish drying mats available right now. We've included options for every type of consumer. If you want more information on the best and most up-to-date pricing on the mention, be sure to check the links in the description below. Okay, so let's get started with the video. Do you wash all of your dishes by hand, or do you frequently hand wash large pots and pans? An extra large drying mat, such as this one from Bellamain, may be required. With a size of 24 by 17 inches, it can comfortably hold a large baking dish or pot, as well as a number of plates and glasses without slamming into one another. The three-ply microfiber and foam structure absorbs moisture rapidly and dries quickly for simple storage in a drawer. Because of its extra large size, this mat can be used for more than just drying dishes. We adore these mats and have several that we use for drying dishes. One satisfied buyer adds, we also have a large one that we use as a bath mat. This most recent purchase serves as a pad beneath our dog's dish. He is continually spilling water out of his bowl, causing a mess on the kitchen floor. I purchased him a skid-proof dish for Christmas, but it was ineffective. Then I got this XL mat and placed it under his bowl, which addressed the problem. Despite the fact that I now have a human-sized kitchen, I've lived in a lot of shoeboxes with no counter space. Surpaz over the sink multipurpose roll-up dish drying rack is a game changer, and I wish I'd known about it back then. This dish drying mat rack hybrid unrolls to allow you to dry dishes above your sink, saving up a lot of counter space. Genius! It's unlike a standard mat because it's comprised of silicone-coated steel tubes that let water drip down into the sink. The rack is also multifunctional, serving as a vegetable colander and an over-the-sink prep station. Around here, we appreciate a good multitasker. If you enjoy patterns, the s and microfiber dish drying mat comes in a variety of designs, including jingham, trellies, and even cute owls. However, all of the styles are reversible, so if you're easily bored with the same old decor, this is the next-to-the-sink item you've been lacking. This mat is functionally comparable to the Nor Pro discussed above. It's constructed of soft microfiber that absorbs a lot of water without ruining your counters, and it's also foldable and machine washable. We like that the patterns aren't too girly and can be used in a variety of kitchens. This mat and rack combo from Umbra is for you if you want to lay some things on a drying mat but wish you could stand or hang others. A removable plastic dish rack with 19 holes for standing dishes on their sides, a tiny cutlery caddy, and four stem holders to hang wine glasses to dry sits beneath a microfiber mat. The rack may be thrown in the top drawer dishwasher for convenient cleaning, while the mat can be washed. For the few items we have that aren't dishwasher safe, or when I need to perform a quick wash, this more than suffices. I'm not sure where I've kept a little drying rack all my life. It's fantastic, exclaims one delighted buyer. Previously, I'd place my glasses on top of whichever utensil I'd just washed to prevent condensation from accumulating inside. It's unobtrusive and appears to be made of durable material. Even better, it takes up very little space and does not detract from the appearance of my counter. If you're on the fence about doing something, I strongly advise you to do so. Microfiber is excellent, but silicone is also a popular material. The ribbed pattern on the OXO Good Grips large silicone drying mat allows water to drain while keeping dishes above the liquid and bacteria-free. Because the substance is non-slip, it will stick to your surfaces without endangering your breakable dishes. It's also a multi-purpose item. Not only will your dishes remain dry, but the non-slip base will keep stemware and other delicates safe. If you want to use and store dish mats, they are simple to roll up and store in a drawer or hang on the inside of a cabinet door. So that sums of the today's video. We hope you enjoyed and if you did please leave a like on the video. And if you're new here hit that subscribe button. Until next video have a great day.